the truth, the way to life. He the truth, the way to life. Who you thought? Jesus Christ. He the truth, the way to life. He the truth, the way to life. Who you thought? Jesus Christ. He the truth, the way to life. He the truth, the way to life. Jesus Christ. He the truth, the way to life. He the truth, the way to life. Amen, amen. Here we are once again with uh, SOV 106.9 FM. And I want to thank you, each and every one of you guys, for tuning in once again from the, uh, from what? From the Riverside County, uh, San Bernardino County, Orange County, LA County, and yeah, todos los counties. Amen. Because <laughs> we know that this message goes out throughout the globe. But hey, I got a... Oh, this is Pastor Junior, right? Once again with um, uh, Help From Above radio show, right? Help From Above ministry. And uh, I got a palabra, right? A word once again for you guys. And um, the title of our message tonight is Is the decisions you make today Is the life you're going to live tomorrow, right? Uh, once again, the, the, the title of our message tonight is The decisions you make today Is the life you're going to live tomorrow, Right, and uh, we're going to be in uh, Numbers chapter 13, uh, the majority of Numbers 13, chapter 13, and uh, and part of the uh, beginning of chapter 14 of Numbers, right? Uh, the key verses, the key verses in, in uh, Numbers 13 are going to be uh, verse 31, 32, and 33, and the key verse in Numbers chapter 14, it's going to be 8 through 9. Those are going to be the key verses. Uh, for you or uh, note takers, right? Once again, Psalm 45, verse 1, for those uh, of the pen of a ready writer, right? My tongue is the pen of a ready writer, right? For those of you guys who are taking notes and, you know, you guys got your pen, you got your notepad and ready to hear what the Lord has to say. Amen. Uh, but let, let, let us go ahead and uh, go into prayer. Let's, let's seek the Lord. Uh to bless his, bless his word as it goes forth tonight. So, Father in heaven, we uh, come before you, Father God. And, Lord, we just pray that you would bless the study uh, tonight, Father God. And, Lord, we ask the Holy Spirit to, Lord, to rebuke and to convict and to transform, Lord, and to encourage us once again with your word, Father God. Thank you for the message tonight, Lord. The decisions you make today is the life you're going to live tomorrow. Bless your word, Father, as it goes forth. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, well, here we are once again. <clears throat> um, we're going to be in Numbers chapter 13, you know, like I spoke a little earlier, and a little bit of Numbers 14, right? Um, <clears throat> so, yeah, keep in mind, right? The title of our message is The Decisions You Make Today is the Life You're Going to Live Tomorrow. All right, so here we go. Um, Numbers chapter 13, <clears throat> right? I'm going to read it out of, out of my New King James uh Version uh, Numbers chapter 13. So here we are. And the Lord spoke to Moses, saying, Send send men, send men to spy out the land of Canaan, which I am giving the children of Israel. From each tribe of their fathers, you shall send a man, every one a leader among them. Right? Verse 3 says, So Moses sent them. Sent them uh, from the wilderness of Paran, according to the command of the Lord. All men who were, all men who were heads of the children of Israel. Right. So he goes listing uh, the men that were going to be sent out. Right. So there, there's twelve that are going to be sent out. Um, and then verse four, right. And then verse four reads, "Now these are the names of the tribe of Reuben." Now these are the names from the tribe of Reuben, Shaman, the son of Zechar, verse 5, from the tribe of Simeon, uh, Zephat, uh, the son of Hori, verse 6, from the tribe of Judah, Caleb, the son of Jephim, verse 7, from the tribe of Ishakar, Ega, the son of Joseph, verse 8, from the tribe of Ephraim, Hoshea, the son of Nun, verse 9, from the tribe of Benjamin, Palati, from uh, uh, Palati, the son of Raphi, verse ten, from the tribe of Ze Zebulun, 
Galadi, Galadi, the son of Sodi, verse 11, from the tribe of Joseph, that is, from the tribe of Manasseh, uh, Gadi, the son of Sushi, Su Susi, verse 12, from the tribe of Dan, Amiel, the son of Gamali, Gamali. verse 13, the, the, from the tribe of Asher, Seder, Shet, Set, Sir, the son of Michael, verse 14, from the tribe of Na Na Natalie, Nabi, the son of Boshi, verse 15, from the tribe of Gad, uh, Guel, the son of Machi, verse 16, from the, the, these are the names of the men whom Moses sent to spy out the land, and Moses called Hoshea, Hosea, the son, uh, the son of Nun, Joshua. So here we are. We have 12 men that were spent out, sent out, right? 12 spies. Um, sent out 12 spies uh, to spy out the land. The land of Canaan, right? The land that was given to them, right? <clears throat> and here we are. Verse 18, so then, right? So verse 18 says, uh, th verse 17, then, then Moses sent them to spy out the land, the land of Canaan. And said to them, Go up to this go up this way into the south and go up to the mountains. Verse 13. See that the land, see what the land is like, whether the people who dwell in it are strong or weak, few or many. Verse 19, whether the land they dwell in is good or bad, whether this whether the cities they inhabit are like the camps or strongholds. Verse 20, whether the land is rich or poor. And whether the, whether the forest there is forest or there is not, right? Be of good courage, and bring some of the fruit of the land. Now the time was when the season of the first ripe of the first ripe grapes, right? Verse twenty one. So they went up and spied out the land from the wilderness of Zin, from uh, as far as Re, uh, Rehob, near the entrance of Hamath. Verse 22, and they went up through the through the south and came to Horeb, Ahimam, Shem, Sheshai, and Tamali. The descendants of Anak were there. Now Hebron was built seven years before Zoan in Egypt. Verse 23, then they came to the valley of Eshkar and there, and there cut down a branch with one cluster of grapes. They carried it between two of them on a pole. They brought also brought some of the pomegranates and figs. Verse 24, the place was called the Valley of Eshkar, Eshkar, because the cluster, because the cluster which the men of Israel cut down there, verse 25, and they and they returned from spying out the land after 40 days. Verse 26, now they departed and came back to Moses and Aaron and all the congregation of the children of Israel <clears throat> in the wilderness of Paran and Kadesh, uh, they brought back word to them and to all the congregation and showed them the fruit of the land. Verse 27, they, then they told them and said, we went to the land where you sent us, where you sent us, it truly flows with milk and honey. And this is the fruit. Verse 28, nevertheless, the people who dwell in the land are strong cities. <clears throat> they are fortified large. Moreover, we saw the descendants Anak there. Verse 29 says the, um, the Amalekites uh, dwell in the land of the south. The Hittites and the Jebusites and the Amorites dwell in the mountains. And the Canaanites dwell by the sea among the banks of the of the Jordan. Verse 30. Then Caleb uh, quieted the then Caleb quieted the people before Moses and said, Let us go up at once and take possessions, for we for we are well above to overcome it. Verse 31 says, But the men who had gone up with him said, We are not able to go up against these people, for they are stronger than we. Verse 32, And they gave the children, and they gave the children of Israel a bad report <coughs> of the land which they had spied out, saying, The land through which through which we had gone as spies <clears throat> is the land 
that is devious, divorce uh, in the inhabitants, and the people whom we saw in it are great, are of great stature. Right? Verse 33 says, We saw the giants and the descendants of Anak of Anak <clears throat> came from the came from the mount came from came from giants. We and we are like grasshoppers in our sight. And so we and so we were in their sight. Notice that. Notice that. Notice what's happening here. Right? Verse uh, verse 31, right? <laughs> it says, But the men who had gone up Right, verse 31 and Numbers 13. But the men who had gone up <clears throat> said, said, We are not able to go up against the people, for they are stronger than we. Notice that. For they are stronger than we. Right? So, you know, I mean, but notice it. They're leaders. They're leaders. Right? <clears throat> notice what it says in Numbers 13. I'm going to read out of my home and translation, right? Numbers chapter 13, verse 1. Once again, they're scouting the land of Canaan, right? Numbers 13, verse 1. Once again, I read out of my home and translation. It says, The Lord spoke to Moses, Send out to scout out the land of Canaan. I am giving the Israelites, Send one man who is a leader among them from each of their ascens uh, uh, ancestral tribes. Right? So notice what's happening. They're sending a leader. Right? Send out one man who is a leader among them. Right? Among their tribes. Right? <clears throat> and uh, and Moses, right? Here in Numbers 13, verse 3, Moses sent them from the wilderness to Paran. At, at the Lord's command, all these men were leaders in Israel. Notice that. Verse 3. All these men were leaders. Right? So what did we learn there? Well, leaders... Well, before following leaders, before following a leader, right, it's wise to see if he is headed in the right direction, right? Once again, leaders, before following a leader, it is wise to see if he is headed in the right direction, right? <clears throat> and leaders, and leaders go down in history and some, some farther down than others, right? Leaders go down in history some farther that some farther down than others and why well because look at verse look at verse uh, once again verse 31 right verse 31 says what does it say verse 31 the verse 31 says but the men who had gone up with him said we are not able to go up against the people for they are stronger than we but they are stronger than we right <laughs> but notice it right verse 31 once again uh, for they are strong, right? But the men who had gone up <coughs> with him responded, we can't go up against the people because they are stronger than we they are. stronger than we are. Right? Verse 32 says, so they gave a neg negative report to the Israelites about the land they had scouted. Right? Verse 32, once again, of Numbers 13, so they gave a negative report to the Israelites about the land they had scouted, right? So what's the title of our message? Well, the decisions, the decisions you make today is the life you're going to live tomorrow, right? What is the what is our, our message? What is the title of our message? Well, the title of our message tonight is the decision, the decisions you make today is the life you're going to live tomorrow, right? Once again, verse 31 and Numbers 13 says, But the men who had gone up, <clears throat> who had gone up with him said, we are not able to go up against the people, for they are stronger than we. Right? So what do we learn there? Well, what we learn there, what we learn here is that God entrusts great power only to those, only to those who have proven proven themselves to be faithful. Right? Once again, what we learn here is that God entrusts great power. Only to those who have proven themselves to be faithful. Why? Well, because of verse 31. It says, But the men who had gone up <coughs> with him said, We are not able to go up against these people, for they are stronger than we. Right? In verse 32. Right? What does verse 32 says? Verse 32 says, So they gave a negative report to the Israelites about the land they had scouted. Right? <clears throat> so what did we learn there? Well, what we learn there, what we learn here, 
What we learn here is that they had the spirit of unbelief because they had accepted a negative mind, right? Once again, verse 32 says, so they so they gave a negative report, right? Numbers 13, 32. So they gave a negative report to the Israelites, right? So they gave a negative report uh, to the Israelites <laughs> about the land they had scouted. Once again, what did we learn there? What we learn here is that a, a is that they had a spirit of unbelief because they had accepted a negative mind. Because they accepted a negative mind, right? Are you, are you accepting a negative mind tonight? Right? Are you accepting a negative mind tonight? Verse 32, so they gave a negative report to the Israelites about the land they had scouted. Right? Once again, what what we learn here is that they had they had the spirit of unbelief because they had accepted a negative mind. A negative mind will never give you a positive future. Right? Once again, they had they what what we learn here is they is that they had the spirit of unbelief because they had accepted a negative mind. A negative mind will never give you a positive future. A negative mind creates worry and it creates drama. Right? A negative mind creates worry and it creates drama. Right? And what do we learn about leaders? Well, leaders, before following a leader, it is wise to see if he is headed in the right direction. Right? Leaders go down in history, some farther down than others. Leaders go down in history, some farther down than others. Right? Verse 32 of Psalm 13, right here. Um, verse 32 of Numbers 13, once again. <laughs> So they gave a negative report to the Israelites about the land they had scouted. All right? They gave a negative report once again. What we learn here is that is that is that they had the spirit of unbelief because they had accepted a negative mind. A negative mind will will not will never give you a positive future. A negative mind creates worry and it creates drama. It creates worry and it creates drama. Right? Verse thirty two says. We, we even saw the, the Nephilim, these, these the offspring of Anak. To ourselves, we, to ourselves, we, like, we were like grasshoppers and we must have seen the same to them. Right? Verse 32 says, we, we even saw the Nephilim there. The offspring of Anak were descendants from the Nephilim. To ourselves, we seemed like grasshoppers. And we must have seen, when we must have seemed the same to them. Notice that. To ourselves, we seem like grasshoppers, and we must have seen the same to them. Right? So, what did we learn there? Well, once again, a negative mind creates worry and it creates drama. Once again, a negative mind creates worry and it creates drama. Right? Verse 31 says, But the men, verse 31, but the men who had, who had gone up, with him responded we can't go up against the people why because they are stronger than we because they are stronger than we what, what we learn here is that a negative is that negative thoughts can and will affect your future right once again what we learn here is that negative thoughts can and will affect your future right and what's the title of our message well the decisions the decisions you make today is the life you're going to live tomorrow, right? What's, what's the title of our message? Well, the decisions you make today is the life you're going to live tomorrow. Hey, but you know what? We're going to go on a break and we'll be right back with the decisions you make, the decisions you make today is the life you're going to live tomorrow. All right, we'll be right back. When someone becomes a Christian, he becomes a brand new person in sight. He is not the same anymore. A new life has begun. My Lord, 
I'll never find the words, my Lord, to tell you how I feel, my Lord. Mere words could not explain. Amen, amen. Here we are back with um, the decisions you make today is the life we're going to live tomorrow, right? And we were focusing on verse 33, right? Uh, of Numbers chapter 13, right? Once again, <clears throat> Numbers 33, uh, Numbers 13, 33. It says there were, and there we saw the giants, the descendants of Anak, Anak uh, came from the, came from the giants. That's my new King James. <laughs> Came from the came uh, once again on verse thirty three says there was the giants, there was the giants the descendants of Anak came from the came from the giants and we were like grasshoppers 
in our own sight. And so, and so we were in their sight, right? What we learn here is that a negative thought can and will affect your future, right? Right? We even saw the Nephilim there, the offspring of Anak, right? What we learn here is that a negative mind can greatly impact your life and prevent you from entering the promised land, right? Once again, what we learn here is that a, a negative mindset can greatly impact your life and prevent you from entering the promised land, right? A negative mindset can limit the ability to taste and see that the Lord is good, right? Once again, a negative mindset can limit your ability to taste and see that the Lord is good, right? A negative mindset can limit your ability to see the opportunities Right? The solutions and the possibilities that, that God has set before you. Right? Once again, a negative mind can limit your ability to see the, um, the opportunities, the solutions, and the, and the possibilities that God has set before you. That God has set before you. Right? Oh, look, look at, just look at Numbers 14. Numbers chapter 14, verses 8 and 9. Uh, right, we're looking at uh, Numbers chapter 14, verses 8 and 9. Right, <clears throat> once again, um, Numbers once again, right, Numbers chapter 14, verses 8 and 9. Am I in my home and translation? It reads like this it says, If the Lord is pleased with us, he will bring us into this land, a land flowing with milk and honey. Right, this is this is Caleb Joshua speaking. This is, If the Lord is pleased with us, he will bring us into this land. A land flowing with milk and honey. To, and gave it to us. Verse 9. Only do not rebel against the Lord. And, do, and don't be afraid of the people of the land. For we will devour them. Right? Uh, for we will devour them. Their protection has been removed from them. And the Lord is with us. So don't be afraid of them. Right? Once again. Right. Once again, a negative mind, a, a negative, a negative mindset can limit your ability to taste and see that the Lord is good. A negative mindset can limit your ability to see the opportunities, the solutions, right, the possibilities that God has set before you. That God has set before you. Right. Numbers chapter eight. Numbers chapter fourteen, verses eight and nine. If the Lord is pleased with, if the Lord is pleased with us, He will bring us into this land, <clears throat> into this land flowing with milk and honey. And give it to us. <clears throat> Only do not rebel against the Lord. And don't be afraid of the people of the land. For we for we will devour them. Right? For we will devour them. Notice that. For we will devour them. Right? The, right? For we will devour them. Their protection has been removed from them. And the Lord is with us. So don't be afraid of them. Notice that. Number 14. Verse 9. Right? Their protection has been removed from them. And the Lord is with us. So don't be afraid of them. Notice that. Right? Notice that. Hey, but some of you might be asking, Hey, how do we, how do we, how do we, um, well, some of us might be asking, right? <laughs> might be asking tonight, okay, pues, how do I, how do I overcome this negative mindset? Right? Some of you might be asking tonight, okay, pues, Junior. Pastor Junior, pues, como, how do I how do I overcome this negative mindset? Right? Well, we well it's simple. <clears throat> you overcome you overcome this negative mindset, right? By becoming more aware of your thought patterns until you can taste and see that the Lord is good, right? Once again, some of you might be asking, okay, pues, how do I overcome this negative mindset? Well, it's simple. You overcome it. You overcome it by becoming more, more aware. Of your thought patterns until you can taste and see that the Lord is good, right? Psalm 34, verse 8, right? Psalm 34, verse 8 reads, Oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed, blessed is the man, right? Blessed is the man or the woman. Blessed is the man or the woman who trusts in Him. And who? In Yahweh, right? Blessed is Him. Or her who trusts in the Lord, right? Who trusts in Him? Who trusts in the Lord, right? Verse Psalm thirty-four, verse eight reads, "Oh, taste and oh, taste and see that the Lord is good," right? 
Blessed is the man or the woman who trusts in him, who trusts in who, and trusts in Yahweh. Right? Once again, some of you might be questioning tonight, okay, but how do I overcome this negative mindset? Well, you, once again, it's simple. You overcome it. You overcome it by becoming more aware of your thought patterns until you can taste and see that the Lord is good. Psalm 34, verse 8. All right. Well, well thank you once again for listening to um, the Help From Above radio show, the Help From Above Ministries. You know, once again, the, the title of our message tonight was, was the decisions you make today is the life you're going to live tomorrow. The decisions you make today is the life you're going to live tomorrow. Right. What we learn here once again is that a negative mindset can greatly impact your life and prevent you from entering the promised land. A negative mindset can limit your ability to taste and see that the Lord is good. A, a negative mindset can limit your can limit your ability to see the opportunities, the solutions, the possibilities that God has set before you. Once again, Numbers chapter 14, verses 8 and 9. If the Lord is pleased with us, <clears throat> He will bring us into this land flowing with milk and honey. And give it to us. Only do not rebel against the Lord. And don't be afraid of the people of the land. For we will devour them. Well, thank you once again. So let us go ahead and close. Thank you. Muchas gracias once again for listening. So Father in heaven, we thank you for the word today. Tonight, Father God, we just uh, thank you. We pray that you bless the study, Father. And Lord, we just pray for the hurting. Lord, we pray for the hurting. We pray for those who are sick. We pray for those who are bound. Father, we pray, um, uh, Romans 8, 15, you're not giving us the spirit of bondage again to fear, but the spirit of adoption to whom we cry out, Abba, Father. Abba, Father, I pray that you would touch your people. Lord, touch those who are listening. Father, those who are sick in bed, Lord, Lord, that you would just, uh, Lord, um, go from the crown of their heads to the soles of their feet, Father. I pray for a complete divine healing, Lord. Lord, touch them, Father. Touch them and heal them, Father God. In Jesus' precious name, we pray, Father. Amen and amen. All right. Thank you, guys, for listening. Muchas gracias. God bless you. He the truth, the way to life. Who you thought? Jesus Christ. He the truth, the way to life. He the truth, the way to life. Jesus Christ. He the truth, the way to life. He the truth, the way to life. He the truth, the way to life I'ma slide, I'ma ride just like a bike He my God, he my light In the spirit, I'ma fight Devil always tryna get up in my mind Gotta beat him like a lion